Yeah, Zero Suit Samus is one of my favorite characters for, um, I mean, for move set reasons also. Whoops. Hooray. I broke it. Good job making a game, Sakurai. Yeah, try a little harder next time, thanks. I'm kind of a jerk. I have one. My one gripe with Zero Suit Samus is that um, her smashes appear to be the same as her standard moves, except animated differently. What's the difference? No, there isn't one. Except one of them does different things, I guess, but they're the same animation and they aren't very creative. And to be fair, Zero Suit Samus isn't even like a very logical character. I think they were just upset that Samus wasn't degrading enough towards women like the princesses all wearing dresses and getting captured and stuff. And Jigglypuff being a Jigglypuff, although I don't think that counts quite as much. It's energy tank! Why did it call that energy tank? Oh yeah, it's the Pokemon Snap Noise. Yes, it's the best part of the Subspace Emissary. What, did you get hit by a pester ball? Uh, I'm actually kind of good with both of those characters, but I don't like Pikachu very much because there are some insensitive folks who uses thunder sometimes. So that is the worst thing you can do. Oh. Yeah, so I'm probably going to make a video regarding that pretty soon at some point. And Thunder isn't actually a very good move unless you're using it strategically, quote unquote, spamming it. Really just makes you bad at fighting because it's. I mean, why would a predictable strategy be annoying? It would be maybe annoying if you were looking for a challenge or something, but. I don't know, I find I fight some pretty terrible people who like spamming a lot. I do not find it annoying, I find it easy to do. Are those things supposed to have three eyes and the middle thing is one eye? Because as a human I was conditioned to see two eyes and I just think the third thing is a weird symbol. And why does like every other character in the game have this for their down A in midair? Man, I'm all messed up in my Smash Brothers terminology. Wouldn't it hurt for a human to do a screw attack? I mean, the fact that Samus doesn't have it without her power suit would kind of, like, imply that it is not something that a regular human should do with the whole electrocuting yourself factor. Hooray. I only know how to program a few objects, and one of them is going to be this one from the guy. Oh yeah, and Top was asking, uh, if this is supposed to be like a Metroid game type area, and no, it is Mekai, except slightly different. Or Mekai for you who have not played Kirby Superstar Ultra, or a space level from a Kirby game for those of you not familiar with Kirby Superstar at all, and why are you playing video games, or at least, at the very least, Nintendo games? I can see if you're like one of those jocks who just plays Grand Theft Madden and also a first person shooter DS. Alright, it's that guy who never ever comes to my town because he hates me. I like how Zero Suit Samus has like eight jumps. I like how I I mean every game those are in, which is plenty. I get hit by them. I also like tether recoveries a lot more than I initially thought. I don't know why, I just kinda think they're neat. Also, this is pretty good music. I can't remember if it's from Metroid Prime 2 or it's Echo or Hunters, or maybe they just use the same song for both. Also, Metroid Prime Hunters is underrated. Whoops. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to go down instead of somehow ride that into the background. Hey. These are pretty neat enemies, actually. They're one of my favorite original enemies from just this. Kind of cool idea how they rotate, and they're also turrets. Oh yeah, I just need to do like random things and then go back to the main level. I was stuck on this, or at least the next Metroid level. 
for a long time when I was first playing this. Of course, it was also like 4.30 in the morning, which has more or less become my regular gaming schedule, but that's beside the point. Um, but yeah, I got lost here the first time because you just kind of have to do weird things in the different... Oh yeah, that sends that up here. I just... That never clicked to me, and I just like went to the first room, didn't know what happened because uh, I probably went here first or something. And it was confusing. Dodge, 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 dodge. What? Are they all called jicks? Even the ones that are not the same element type. Are there any ice ones of those? That would be kind of neat. What happens here again? I forget. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, that appears. That's what I thought. And that uh, makes the area above this accessible. And I think after this point, I kind of figured it out again. I mean, I didn't even actively know what was going on until much later. I think when I like replayed the level on Intense because I was doing that for a little bit or something. I don't remember. Do, 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 do. I wish you'd get rewards for doing like interesting things that aren't just abnormally hard. I mean, like beating the entire subspace emissary on Intense would probably be a fun challenge without being. Well, well I'm not gonna go as far to call. Uh, What's it called, the thing? Did they nerf wall jumping in this room? Am I crazy? It's subspace emissary compared to regular wall jumping, that is not Mr. Pronoun, who is not very good at not using things that people would under not understand or something. Why can't I grab on? I don't want to regular jump. Okay, but what was I... I completely lost my train of thought. Ah, what? Oh, yeah, that's a really weird... Oh, I did not know that was a super wall jump. I, that is kind of neat. I think it was. Okay. I'm confused what happened there. I think I was like just holding down the button and doing off edges or something. That is weird. Someone figure out what happened there. I'm too lazy to. Maybe it does work off to wall jumping or something because it's one of the jumps that doesn't uh, dump you off into not jumping anymore, infants not in the ability frames, flashing frames of not being able to jump anymore, or do anything at all anymore, except fall to your death. And I don't care how much you can glitch the game with the old-timey dodges, or even that they were kind of practical for stuff like Yoshi and Jigglypuff that didn't have another triple jump. I just like how you can go into the background, because then you can do it multiple times and you, you're not like instantly dead as soon as you dodge once. Or at least instantly open for attacks. You know, I'm not super partial to either, but I do prefer this. Just because it makes people who aren't very good at the game better, like me, or, or something. I don't know, I just became... I think I became a lot better than I was in Melee from this, but maybe I was just really horrible at Melee. Hey, vial of food. Vial of food sure sounds appetizing, right? I sure am good at pronouncing things right, right? What's up here? Why isn't things that are hidden orange? Or aren't, I guess. Oh no, it's giant Voltorbs or something. Oh, I forgot you couldn't fly through them. But go away, Voltorb. Go away, Voltorb. Go away, Voltorb. Go away, Voltorb. Yeah, too much effort to try to detonate those. I remember the first time I was playing through here, I was probably Pikachu. Also, this works. Well, that doesn't. Okay, and dodging through them doesn't either, but yeah, there is some ways to... Uh, that should have been one of Rob's alternate colors. So yeah, these are all the platforms that were bumped up from the bottom area, and if you tried to go here earlier, it was all empty and stuff, and the Cyclops ones look weird. Ow, it used a Falcon Punch at me. That wasn't very nice. You're not a Captain Falcon. Metal primits are kind of neat, I guess. Why is their attacking image just a regular primid? Is it really that hard to make them metal? I mean, that doesn't affect anything, and it's just a uh, petty complaint, I admit it, but... Man, you're resilient, Zero Suit Samus. Oh yeah, this is actually one of my favorite moves, because it stuns, except that was not a very good showing of it. Oh well. Time for Pokemon! Pikachu is useful. 
Yeah, I think this is what I did to those explody guys, except they just keep infinitely spawning or at least rotating or something. Whatever. I almost made it through without dying. That totally matters, right? Metroid. The subspaces have kept Metroid um, inside that dome thing. Who knows what kind of experiments they're doing to him. I'm not familiar with the story of the Metroid games, but I think that Zero Suit Samus is his girlfriend. Not really sure, but that would make sense, I guess.